viewers of the world. Good morning. Amachamalunji. We love you in Christ Jesus. Our topic today. Do you believe in the Bible? Have faith in God. This scripture will come true in your life. Because the glory. Do you believe in the Bible? Have faith in God. This scripture will come true in your life. Listen to what happened. I'm reading Mark 525. What is your situation today? And how do you consider it? Believe in God. Have faith in Christ. Give a note to your situation. It is bound to change. Say my situation. You are bound to change. Because I believe in Jesus. Who changed the situation? To go be the glory. 525 of Mark. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. And had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather go worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, If only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude throwing you, and you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done the thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. To God be the glory. Brethren, viewers over the world, have faith in God. Give a note to your situation by saying these words. If I only have faith in God and believe in Christ Jesus, this is my situation, must change. The woman said something and gave a notice to her situation. If I only touch Babia, his garment, I'll be healed. Begin to say something. If I only have faith in God and believe in Jesus Christ, my situation must change. And this is what Jesus said to his disciples. When they were quelling him of the happenings, of the miracles, I said, how did you do this, sir? Having seen the tree withered, Peter said, ah, Things are possible like this. How did you do it? Things are possible like this. And this is the way you can do it. Have faith in God. To go be the glory. I'm reading Mark 11 from verse 21. We can start from 20. Now in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter remembering said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you curse has withered away. 
So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever said to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in her heart, but believing that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. To God be the glory. Give a note to your citation. You my citation. Now I come against you with faith in the name of Jesus Christ. You a problem. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. You problem. Have a solution. My situation. Have a solution. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be solved. My situation. Because the woman said something. Can you give a notice to your situation? Is it sickness? Begin to give a notice to your sickness. The way the woman gave a notice. As if I were honored. His garment. Here I'll be healed. Hey, to God be the glory. You can even get hold of your Bible. With the faith. If I only hold my Bible. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'll be healed. Get hold of your Bible. Let us begin to pray. Say something. If I only hold my Bible, in the name of Jesus, with the faith, I'll be healed. Hold your Bible now. Saying something in your heart to a situation. Be healed in Jesus' name. Hold your Bible. Hold your Bible. If I only hold my Bible, oh Jesus, I'll be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed. Are you holding your Bible? Be healed. 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 I'll be healed. Put your Bible at your back. Take a Bible your Kumugongo. Take a Bible your Wolido Bulumi. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. My back be healed. Be healed. I give you a notice now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing. If I only put the Bible on my leg, I'll be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, my leg be healed. Be healed. Be healed. If I only put the Bible in my chest, all the pain in the chest will go. All my worries will go. All my fear will go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. What is your problem? Is it provision? You go to your kitchen. If I only place my Bible to my kitchen, I'll get all the provision. I'll get food. Have faith in God. Give a notice to your problem. To your situation. Believe me. God is good. He only requires faith from you. And he will act. He will act upon your faith. Listen and see this.
Can you believe this? Oh, he's okay, chiki, chiki, chiki. That this scripture is true. Nje chawa ndiki wachi no chitufu. Acts of Apostles. Eh, biko la viaba tume. 1911. Kumi na muenda. Olunyiri olu kumi. Still doubt. Look at this. If only 1911 Acts of Apostles. Now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul, so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick, and the disease left them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Umikonoja Paulo, nabalu wade, nebaleti ruange viremba, nengo yezo kumubili gwe, enduwade neziba vanga ko, daimo ni naba vanga ko. Viewers over the world. Aba tulaba musio na. A descriptor true. E chawa ndiki wachi no chitufu. Can this scripture come to pass? E chawa ndiki wachi no chiso bolo kutukiri Can it be true in your life? Chiso bolo kube chitufu mbula mungo. What really happened? Chidele chaba wo. What really happened? Chidele chaba wo. Let's watch and see. Katulabe. Our brother Bwambale Godwin. Muganda afe Bwambale Godwin. Who had a stomach problem for two years. E haino buzibu mulubu tokumale miyake vili. What really happened? Chidele chaba wo. Listen. Uliriza. Handicaps. Obutambala. Aprons. Ebiremba. From the hands of Paul. Okuva mikono ya Paul. From the body of Paul. Okuva kumubiri kwa Paul. They took it the sick. Babi tuwalangeli abarwa. And they were healed. Neva wenyesebwa. Since Jesus alive. Nga Yesu wali omulamu. The scripture can come to pass. Echa wandi kwa chini chiso bolo kutukiri. It can come true to your life. Chiso bolo kutukiri dambu. It came true to Bwambale's life. Chato kutukiri dambu lambu amuambi bana. Watch and see. Katulabe. My name is Dabambale Godwin. I'm coming from Kasisi. The problem that brought me here is severe abdominal pain, which has taken me two years and a half, and uh, a large allergy, which has taken me almost 15 years. This is my medical reports. I've been in different hospitals, over five hospitals. We are looking at this medical report from Fort Porter Regional Referral Hospital is a medical report for Mr. Wambale Godwin. This is where he went with symptoms of abdominal pain and which was initially mild but later on intensified associated with passage of bloodless stools. So the doctors went upon to examine him and he was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. He has got inflammation in the large intestine as is clearly confirmed here. He was diagnosed with diffuse circumferential and relatively symmetric thickening of virtually the entire colon with gray attenuation enhancement pattern. He was diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease. Dr. Eugene Oguang confirmed this. The gentleman has so much pain in the abdomen. He has difficulty in rising up, in walking. He has got difficulty in passing out stool. The situation the Lord Jesus Christ cannot change. He has come to the Lord Jesus Christ. What brethren? The man of God has given him this blessed handkerchief. He's now using it to wipe the abdomen, which has been so painful for these two and a half years, as Jesus Christ takes away his pain and all the constipation. All this being done in Jesus' mighty name. Watch, brethren. See how the power of God has touched him to flush out all the pain in the abdomen, in the inner region. This is Jesus Christ that's working his life. Hallelujah! Brother God. I'm feeling no more pain, prophet. <laughs> Yeah. I'm feeling no more pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The brother is overwhelmed with joy. So I'm feeling no more pain. Yeah. I've been sick for two years, prophet, in pain. Yeah. Two years. Jesus is gone. Okay, bring Jesus food for him. The pain has gone in the name of Jesus. Yeah, bring Jesus is food. Lord. Jesus is Lord. So upon the living God, the pain has gone. Okay, sit them there and give them chicken and chips. How is it over there? <laughs> Jesus is great, man. <laughs> Yeah. I'm feeling better. better, I'm feeling okay. Glory be to God. Jesus is real. No pain. No pain. Brethren, clap your hands loud and loud for the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Viewers over the world. We believe in the Bible. Have faith in God. This scripture will become true in your life. 1911. How can this happen? Have faith in God. Okay, let's watch and see our brother Semiaro. What did it happen? I'm Semialo Adrian. I'm Semialo Adrian. 64 years of age. And I come from Masaka. I have pain in the back for 10 years. But two months ago, the pain intensified. I was over there doing my work. I collapsed and lost my consciousness. That I could not stand and I could not walk. I thought it was a fever. I went to the hospital. They sent me for an x-ray. And this is my medical report. We are looking at this medical report from Goodwill Imaging Services. It's an x-ray stroke ultrasound report for Mr. Semial Adrian. Here they took an x-ray of his lumbosacral spine for he was complaining of pain in the lower back. And upon examining him, they noted reduced intervertebral disc height at L5 stroke S1. They noted marked vertebral body end plate sclerosis with early marginal osteophytes on L2, L3, L4, and L5. He was therefore diagnosed with early degenerative lumbar disc disease. The radiological technologist, Chivumbi Lawrence, confirmed this. Now, Mr. Adrian cannot rise up or walk without support. You see that the lady has to support him to rise up. This is the set of agony for Mr. Adrian. Don't worry. The tree at the graves, who cut it? Mm. Mm. Man of God, what you have said is true. In the process of clearing that place and cleaning it, there is a tree that I cut. Now don't mm. cut any tree again. Leave it for God. The man of God has given Mr. Adrian the blessed handkerchief. Brethren, watch. He's now using it to wipe the places where he was feeling so much pain, especially in this lower back. Wiping away all the pain in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever there's pain, the Lord Jesus Christ is flushing out this pain with the use of this blessed handkerchief. Genda. Hallelujah! He has risen up without support. He's working. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Eh, eh. Yesu. Thank you, Ooh. Jesus.
free. Genda oli wadembe. Viewers over the world. Aba tulaba munsi yonna. Have faith in God. Wana kukiriza mukatonda. Give a notice to your situation. Labule embera yo. Tell your situation I have faith. Gambe embera yo ntinze ni no kukiriza. Your joblessness. Gwo butakola. I come against you. Nkulumba. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe in God. And I have faith in Christ Jesus. Your poverty. Today it is over. Give a note to your situation. Are you still doubting? Let's watch and see our sister Peggy Omorege from Australia. There is joy. Give and not to your situation. There is salvation. There is healing. Remember that day. It will be 16th November. Those who are coming from abroad. There is no problem. Come. We are waiting for you. Let's watch our sister. My name is uh, Peggy Omorege. Um, I'm in Nigeria, but I came from Australia. And the problem that brought me here is I uh, had a motor accident over 26 years ago, and it has given me spinal injury and my back, stomach pain, joints. I had an operation on my joints. 50% tissue has been taken away from my knee. It's just bone to bone. And this is my medical report from a hospital in Australia. We're looking at this medical report from Pioneer Health Limited in Australia. It's a medical report for Lady Peggy Omorekia. This is where she was attended to by Dr. Damon Haydari concerning these pains like she has explained to us. And as indicated here, she was diagnosed with issues of her right shoulder in spite of treatment. She has got pain and difficulty with range of motion, unable to use this arm to do many activities. She cannot lie on it. And upon further examination of her, they took CT scans that showed mouth level lumbar facet joint degeneration, most severe at L4 stroke, L5, and L5S1. All this is being confirmed by her doctor who worked upon her. The pains are so severe, even in the hips, so they took x-rays of her pelvic region, and they noted that she has got bilateral greater trunchanteric bursitis. The basse are inflamed. All this is being confirmed by Dr. V.C. Duplessis, the radiologist. Now these are 26 years when she has got severe pain in the hips, pain in the knees, pain in the back, pain as, in the shoulders. That's it, where you feel the pain. She has been given this handkerchief, which is so blessed by the man of God. And now she's using it to wipe away the pain. Pain in her joints, in every part of her. All the pain is being flushed out in Jesus' mighty name. Watch. She has risen up. Jesus has done it. Glory, glory be to Jesus Christ. Look at the lady. She can kneel. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ. No super gone. No super gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. She's here. I can't believe in me. Thank you, thank you. Thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. I've been doing this for years and years. I lost everything due to this pain. Please, thank you, Jesus. Thankful, thankful. Brethren, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you. 